It will take just a couple of weeks for the left's newfound distaste for free speech to start spreading into new areas, not just hate groups, but people they just disagree with. After Charlottesville, online payment platform PayPal announced it would deny service to so-called hate groups. So this week, they cut off service to Jihad Watch. It's not a hate group, not even close, just a site that's worried about radical Islam. Service was eventually restored after there was an outcry online, but it's not a reassuring sign. Robert Spencer is the man this happened to. He founded Jihad Watch, and he joins us now. Um, so, Robert, you were denounced as a hate group by the Southern Poverty Law Center, which is a completely ersatz, phony, left-wing lobby group posing as a human rights organization, totally dishonest. And then what happened next? Well, a uh, reporter from ProPublica, which is a Soros-funded publication, contacted me, pointed out that Jihad Watch has a uh, donation link via PayPal, as well as uh, my books for sale at Amazon.com and Newsmax News Links, and said, uh, what would you do if all this was cut off because you're a hate group, as according to the Southern Poverty Law Center? And I tried to actually reason with this reporter, Lauren Kirchner, and tell her the implications of what she was suggesting and saying that if you are allowing that people with unpopular political opinions be cut off from these platforms, you better hope it doesn't turn on you and your positions don't become unpopular sometime in the future. But she published her article. It led off with me, denounced me, noted the Southern Poverty Law Center's absolutely spurious claim that I'm some sort of hate group leader. And within hours, I was notified by PayPal that I could no longer use their platform. What was so remarkable about the ProPublica piece, the Lauren Kirchner piece that you're referring to, which I just read, is that at no point does it describe in any detail the views that are supposedly hateful that you hold. It didn't, it just described you as a member or the leader of a hate group, but it never told viewers or readers what that means. It was by definition it it propaganda. It was garbage. Did, did oh, you complain yeah. about this? Oh, yeah, sure. I wrote about it at Jihad Watch and pointed out that Lauren Kirchner had not made any effort to verify whether the Southern Poverty Law Center was right or not about whether I'm a hate group. The, the, they just, the left seems to consider the Southern Poverty Law Center infallible in matters of who's a hate group and who isn't. It's but like nobody asks, well, wait a minute, yeah. who's watching the Watchmen? Yeah. What are the biases of this supposed neutral arbiter? So I actually went to the Southern Poverty Law Center website. It hurt me to do that, but for the purposes of this segment, I, I made myself. And went to the entry on you, and because I wanted to know. I mean, if you're saying things that I'm appalled by, I don't want to have you on, or I want to call you on them anyway on the air. I couldn't find anything in your write-up that was even particularly controversial or out of bounds. Do you know what exactly they're holding up as an example of your hatefulness? Well, I think that what we have here is the left's very common tendency to take statements that are absolutely true that they don't like and portray them as hateful. One of the main things that I say in my work is that the jihadis ha are working from real traditions within Islam. They're not all Muslims by any means and all that. Not all Muslims are terrorists or believe in what the jihadis believe in, but the jihadis can and do point to the texts and teachings of Islam to justify violence and make recruits among peaceful Muslims. Now, this is an obvious fact that I've documented thousands of times on Jihad Watch, but as far as the left goes, if you even suggest that Islam is not a religion of peace, or that might not be a religion of peace in every conceivable way, then you're a hate monger and a bigot and an Islamophobe. Ayan Hirsi Ali was also listed on the SPLC website as a hater. This is someone who, of course, grew up in Somalia. Uh, and was the victim of female genital mutilation, but for criticizing that religion, she's a hater. Really quickly, can you think of any examples of people who've criticized, I don't know, Christianity, who are on the Southern Poverty Law Center's website as leaders of hate groups? <laughs> You know, not only do they not have any, but of course, leftists in general celebrate that sort of thing. Richard Dawkins, the famous, famous atheist writer, a critic of Christianity, critic of Islam, critic of all religions and religion itself. He was recently disinvited from a uh, speech in California because the, the organizers found out he criticized Islam. They thought it was great when he criticized Christianity, but criticizing Islam has been set up as the third rail, the thing you must not touch in the American public square. Why do the elites in our society hate themselves so much and hate our society so much, do you think? I think that it, uh, it comes from the idea of a certain kind of guilt over success.
yeah. and that the West has been very successful, and its culture is celebrated all over the world, and they they think they feel guilty about that and think that we yeah. have to uh, apologize and bring in all these other cultures to make up for this. It's really sick. I wish Freud were still around for a diagnosis. Thank, thanks so much for joining us, and, and congratulations on being back among the living. Thank you.